Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony Nive Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you this 2017 17 plate Volkswagen Scirocco 2 litre TDI R line finished off in a lovely metallic grey. So, first things first, we're going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle. Then, when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the car once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest as we use them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop, and we'll give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. Now we're getting back around to the start, we'll zoom back in and we'll look at the car panel by panel pointing out any uh, dents, scratches or any blemishes in the paintwork uh, that we're going to sort out prior to sale. So near side front wing looks in good condition, near side front door looks good and the near side rear quarter looks good. Near side front alloy looks in good condition but we've got light curbing and corrosion to the outer edge as you can see so we'll be refurbished prior to sale the near side front tire has got a good five or six mil of tread remaining moving down the near side light scuff mark just along that mirror to be polished up and touched in the best we can moving down panels look good a couple of light touch ups to be done just along that door edge we do actually have one crease dent in that quarter there to be popped out by our dent doctor prior to sale Near side rear alloy, same again, nice condition alloy, but age related corrosion and curbing to the edge, so will be refurbished prior to sale. Near side rear tyre, approximately four or five mil remaining. Looking back down the near side now from rear to front. Near side rear quarter looks good, just that one dent down the bottom to be rectified. Near side door looks good, and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the car now, we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. Moving around the rear bumper, as you can see we've got a scratch just along here that looks to have been badly touched up. We do actually have one or two more along here as well. A very, very poor touch up, so we'll get this professionally refinished in our body shop prior to sale, the whole rear bumper. Uh, tail lights and tailgate look in good condition. Rear screen looks good and along the roof lining in nice condition as well. Looking down the offside now from rear to front. Offside rear quarter looks good. Offside door looks good. And the offside front wing looks good. Offside rear alloy, same again, a nice condition alloy, but with light curbing and corrosion to the outer edge, so we'll be refurbished prior to sale. And the offside rear tyre, good 5 mil again. Moving down the offside, you can see we've got a little bit of a mark here. I believe it looks like a scratch, but somebody again really poorly touched it up. So we'll get that refinished in our body shop prior to sale. Moving down the offside again. Panels look okay. Offside front alloy, same again, nice alloy, but we've got corrosion and curb into the outer edge so will be refurbished prior to sale and the offside front tire nearly new with a good six mil tread looking back down the offside now from front to rear offside front wing is good offside door is good offside rear quarter is good just that one mark to be refinished moving around the front of the car now we're going to check out all lights and grills in the front bumper itself moving round all lights and grills looking nice condition as for the front bumper moving across near side corner looks good one very light crack in the uh, sort of splitter grill area there, but nothing major. Again, it looks to be a light scratch, but somebody's touched it up really badly. So what we'll do is we'll get that, all that touch up off, uh, polished up. In fact, the bumper has got a mark there. So we'll have that refinished in our body shop as well prior to sale. So front bumper, rear bumper refinished and the offside rear quarter has that lower scratch to be refinished as well prior to sale and four alloy refurbs. Uh, the final panel is the bonnet, as you can see paintwork looks good, no major dents or scratches, one or two light marks to be touched in, that looks like it's a bit of tar on the car actually, it's a bit of polish, there are one or two tiny little marks to be polished up and touched in prior to sale, but we will get this done in our workshop. Before we make our way through the interior we'll check out the front screen doesn't appear to be any major chips or cracks we've got one or two light surface markings as you do get but other than that looks in nice condition now we're going to make our way through the interior of the car starting in the boot the newer model does actually have the the badge handle to open the boot 50 50 split folding rear seats decent sized boot in these shirocos as you can see other than light wear and tear all carpets and plastics look in good condition those mats if they're for this car and fit it's a bonus as we don't supply floor mats to any of our cars couple of light marks just along that plastic as you'd expect parcel shelf looks in okay condition all the plastics other than light wear and tear underneath the boot lid look good as well a bit of a smudge on my camera i think there moving through the interior front door cards look in nice condition tiny little bit of looks like a couple of light marks on there but nothing major r-line kick plates front carpets look good and there you have the full 
R-line leather sought after extra no uh, rips no tears no excessive wear bolsters are still firm there's no uh, cigarette burns no traces of any odors got the contrasting white stitching rear seats look in great condition you've got two factory headrests two three-point seat belts and ice fix fittings to both rear seats backs of both front seats are good rear carpets are good and the charcoal headliner throughout is good as well jumping in passenger seat is just as good really really nice condition no signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all looks to have been looked after inside we'll start this car up and we'll run you through as much of the spec as we possibly can so we've got front electric windows central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle there we have electronic adjustable and heated side mirrors as you can see automatic lights and wipers in this car moving across to the center console you've got the fully adjustable leather armrest little cubby hole cup holder storage space there six speed manual transmission we've got traction control full parking sensors with optical display and stop start dual climate control air conditioning recirculation and front heated leather as well moving up to the mmi we have dab radio i believe in this car there we go as you can see i'll press the wrong, wrong one dab radio and a few other options including fm and am as you can see there in media bluetooth audio streaming Again, a few other options, very difficult to look where I'm pressing whilst videoing. Full telephone prep on this car and satellite navigation as well. Moving up, you've got the optional Scirocco pods as well with the oil temp and the turbo pressure. And we're back over to the driver's side now, finished off with this leather bound flat bottom R line multifunction steering wheel. And this car is on 53,660 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions regarding this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thank you again.